Hello and welcome to another installment with me, Alicia. On today's video, we're going to discuss a leading cause of infertility in women, PCOS. PCOS stands for Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome and it is estimated that 10% of women of childbearing age have this disorder. PCOS is a hormone-related medical condition that impacts your hormone levels, menstrual cycles, fertility, and even your physical appearance. While the exact cause of PCOS are still unclear, research believes it has to do with the body's production of too much insulin, which results in the overproduction of androgens or male hormones. These male hormones lead to the frustrating side effects that women with PCOS experience, which includes excessively hair growth, weight gain, and ovulation issues and infertility. In regards to infertility, the excessive male hormones that your body is creating can interfere with the production of the female hormones needed in order to ovulate. Because your body is not ovulating, progesterone is not being produced. This result is an absence of period or irregular menstruation. For women with regular 28 days menstrual cycles, ovulation usually occurs on day 14. But if you're living with PCOS, your menstrual cycles are irregular, and charting your ovulation period can be very challenging. Women with PCOS may have irregular periods, no periods, long cycle, or excessive bleeding during periods. If you're trying to conceive, these irregularities in your menstrual cycle make it especially difficult to pinpoint or chart your ovulation period. When there is a lack of ovulation and menstruation, conception just isn't possible. Fortunately, there are ways for you to determine your ovulation period even if you're living with PCOS. You can use Ovulation Predictor Kit or OPK to help you determine your ovulation period. Your basal body temperature can also serve as an indicator of whether or not you're ovulating. Basal body temperature is your temperature when you first wake up in the morning or after at least 3 hours of uninterrupted sleep. To record your basal body temperature, you need to use a basal thermometer. This has a finer scale than a normal thermometer and let you record tiny change in your body temperature. When you ovulate, Hormonal change trigger a slight rise in your basal body temperature, which lasts at least until your next period. You will notice that your temperature will spike when you're ovulating. You're looking for a temperature rise about 0.2 degrees Celsius. You can also observe your cervical mucus to determine whether or not you're ovulating. Knowing the different states of your mucus and what it means can be a strong indicator for ovulation and fertile and fertile times. Fertile mucus usually signals the impending arrival of ovulation. Fertile mucus feels sweat and slippery compared to infertile mucus, accompanied by other characteristics. For a more in-depth explanation on how to chart your ovulation period if you're living with PCOS, subscribe to my personal blog at That's it for this installment. Be sure to join us again for more info and tips on getting pregnant and beyond. This is Alicia, signing off. Just leave a comment, rate my video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye now!